For this week's Wellbeing Wednesday, I want to talk about the importance of the concept of failing forward. Many times in a business context, in a work context, also in our personal lives, there are times where things don't go the way we want them to. And we can feel like a failure, but that can take such a toll on our abilities to how we feel about ourselves as well as how we approach the next day and the next steps. I want to remind you that a reporter had asked Thomas Edison about how did it feel to fail a thousand times. And his response was that he didn't fail a thousand times, its invention just took a thousand steps. You can look at the greatest of all time, you hear people say all the time about Michael Jordan and him being a basketball player. And when interviewed, he said, you know, I have missed over 9,000 shots. I have lost over 300 games. Over 26 times was I asked to take the game with my shot and I missed it. But that ability to fail is what he said led him to succeed. We know that it's so important, especially within a work context, to create an environment where we can fail forward, where there's that psychological safety, that opportunity to take risks. If there is a failure, if things do not work well, it's important to lean in and to sort through that because otherwise not discussing it can create fear. Additionally, we can be doomed to repeat the same mistakes. It's important to be able to explore that and have a safe enough atmosphere where we can admit when things don't always go perfectly, but recognize what strengths are there, what pivot points are gonna be available, and how can we learn from those mistakes to really be able to succeed and move forward. So I'd encourage you in the workplace, whether it's an individual who is feeling like things aren't going exactly the way they want them to, or for an organization where maybe there was a group project or a presentation and you didn't land that client that you wanted, to take that moment to say that it's okay to feel the disappointment, but how can you learn from it? How can you follow these leaders, these giants, and fail forward into success? Be well.